Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Friday, February 13th, 2015, around 8 10 p.m. Bellica, Massachusetts, cold out, blizzard warning, and it's going to start tomorrow night at this time, be snowing to beat the band with several, several inches, maybe a foot or two. Some news to report. Sad news in the world of entertainment. Longtime voice actor, announcer Gary Owens passed away at the age of 78. Gary was known for being the voice of Laughing, the variety show, comedy variety show from 1968 through 1973. Plus, um, Gary was the voice of Space Ghost, and he was the host of the Gone Show, and he did other voiceover work, and he was also a disc, disc jockey in Southern California, and recently he was a voiceover of Antenna TV, and also beginning on Sunday, no MBTA service, no, no buses, no commuter wheels, no subway, no ferry boats know nothing for the MBTA because of the blizzard and the governor of Massachusetts Charlie Baker's going to be cutting 14 million dollars from the MBTA budgets this is the start of a lot of things happening to for the MBTA wouldn't be surprised if this service cuts serious service cuts and the NBA all-star weekend starting up right now and that's about it on the news my third and final video blog subject of the night is about one my person I profile. Person I profile tonight is about Theodore R. Long, one of the most famous wrestling referees and managers and authority figures in pro wrestling history. Teddy had a close to a 30 year career in the world of sports entertainment. Teddy started out as an errand boy in G Georgia Championship Wrestling. He helped out with um, Tommy Wildfire Edge and Abdul the Butcher. Eventually he became ring crew for Georgia Championship Wrestling setting up the reins. About 1985, Teddy became a referee for the NWA. He usually was a referee for like the World Championship Wrestling TV tapings at in Atlanta, Georgia at, at, on Technical Drive. And eventually he became an NWA Jim Clark promotions referee for about three, four years until 1989 when he was suggest when Teddy was suggesting to Kevin Sullivan that he becomes a heel referee and eventually a manager because um, Teddy says he kept, was a good talker and stuff and they came up with that idea this uh, Teddy Long heel turn started when he did a fast count on the Road Warriors when they lost the NWA World Tag Team titles to the Varsity Club, Steve Dr. Duff Williams and Mike Rotundo at Clash of the Champions 5 in New Orleans, New Louisiana. And then Terry Long continued to do heel referee and he eventually cost JYD a match against Ron Simmons on World, on WCW Saturday night in April of 1989. And then WCW um, Vice President Jim Hurd suspended Teddy Long for life indefinitely and Teddy Long became a manager and he be, was a good manager. He managed skyscrapers who were dangerous Dan Spivey and Sid Vicious as a tag team for a while and he also managed Norman the Lunatic and it was a decent Teddy was a decent manager and stuff like that. He managed them for about six, seven months apiece in around 1989 and so. In 1990, Teddy managed Doom, who, which was Ron Simmons and Butch Reed, and he led Doom to the WCW World Tag Team Championship by beating the Steiner Brothers at Capital Combat 1990, and that was a crowning achievement because Doom held the WCW World Tag Team titles for close to nine months that netted Doom Tag Team of the Year by PWI and also Teddy Long um, Manager of the Year for PWI in 1990. When Doom broke up in early 1991, Teddy started to manage several wrestlers including the One Man Gang and Johnny B. Bad. 
bad, but eventually he he like he like was phased out as a manager and in a manager role on WCW in late 1991, and Teddy started to work at in the front office for WCW as a PR representative and stuff. And he would and Teddy would come back to manage from time to time in WCW in the mid to late 90s. He first managed two Colt Scorpio and Marcus Alexander Bagwell to the WCW World Tag Team Championship, beating the Nasty Boys. And they lost bouts a month later, even though they won them on a WCW Saturday Night TV taping one day before Halloween Havoc. That match was taped several weeks in advance. And then it, it actually was a month rain, even though they showed it on television a day before Halloween Havoc 1993. But they lost it the next night to Colt Scorpio and Marcus Ag Alexander Bagwell to the, to the Nasty Boys. And then Teddy Lawn eventually managed other wrestlers like Joey Maggs, Sergeant Craig Pittman, hard working Bobby Walker, and Ice Train, among others. In early 1998, WCW released Teddy Long from contract, and he resurfaced later on in the year as a referee for the WWE. He refereed for the WWE for about four years and stuff. And then in early 2003, Teddy Long reprised his role as a heel manager first managing D'Lo Brown, and he's managed D'Lo Brown for about several weeks, and he would always say, says, get down with the Brown, but eventually D'Lo Brown was released by the WWE, and then Teddy started managing Rodney Mack, and Teddy would say, let's pack the Mack, Jack, and also he managed Jazz, and Mark Jingrig, and Chris Novinsky, and Rosie, and among others, he was a decent heel manager. The managerial role at that time was basically done and stuff, but Teddy Long was a decent heel manager. And around um, July of 2004, Teddy Long moved to SmackDown and became an authority figure. He became SmackDown general manager. And that was a good role for him because for the next several years, Teddy Long was a SmackDown general manager, great in that role as SmackDown general manager. He was an impartial per person making matches, getting some heels mad, getting some faces mad and stuff like that. Also, he was involved in a few storylines. In 2007, he was about to marry former WWE diva Crystal Martin at a ceremony and he collapsed at the ceremony. What well, it was filmed on SmackDown, and they had like guest appearances by the Godfather. He brought down the Holes and IRS and Vince McMahon and Hornswoggle and others. And I heard something. The storyline was eventually gonna end up like Crystal Martin was gonna turn on. Teddy Long and stuff like that, but Crystal Martin was released by the WWE a short time after after this. And Teddy eventually like became Smack, um, went from SmackDown to ECW General Manager, but then he returned to becoming SmackDown General Manager. He was great in that role for a number of years, but by 2013, WWE was phasing Teddy Long out as a G General Manager role, and then Last summer, they gave Teddy Long their, his walking papers because they weren't using him that much at all. And plus, in addition, Teddy Long is in his late 60s and he's had, he had a good run in sports entertainment, but he probably wanted to retire and stuff. But he came back once in a, to smack down on the 15th anniversary show and he's been doing some independent work ever since then. And Teddy Long's probably one of the He's a great guy, and he's he's known for many roles. He's utilized many roles in the world of sports entertainment. Pretty good as a referee and a manager and a, an authority figure. He's 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 had a long career, and it's very successful. Wouldn't be surprised one of these days that Teddy Long becomes a WWE Hall of Famer. Maybe not this year, but maybe down the road. Maybe 
next year the year after that, and he's great and that's about it on Teddy Long well Facebook friends YouTube followers Twitter and daily motion this is the last video blog of the night be back tomorrow three more video blogs all of them will have a little bit of a theme of Valentine's Day the first one will be the top 10 most popular places where you could find meet your significant other the 10 most popular places then two special personality profiles involving Valentine's first one will be about former Major League Baseball manager Bobby Valentine and the second one will be about WWE Hall of Famer Greg the Hammer Valentine and don't forget coming soon to these video blogs Julie Pratton and Heidi Pratt and coming in March we'll be reviewing lots of WrestleManias and the 2015 NCAA March Madness predictions and also the Major League Baseball predictions in 2015 and in April NBA and NHL playoff previews and predictions lots of good stuff coming up on these video blogs good night Facebook YouTube daily motion and Twitter see you tomorrow